Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Maybe Niccolo is not that useless after all. Today we are going to talk about a merge request that I'm currently working on for Plasma Frameworks. Now, as always, this is not actually merged yet. Uh, I think it should be. I don't think why it should be could be hold back. However, it is not finished. It could change. It could be be discussed further from the Visual Design Group. It is not final yet. I do do think that there is important stuff to talk about and uh, well uh, funnily enough it is mostly about the corner spike yet again but through that I actually wanted to make the corners more rounded and there's also now an outline so let's go through that very quickly now if you don't know what the corner spike is for the plasma panels and for the plasma dialogues then you should totally watch my previous video on the corner spike where I talk about how uh, about uh, how I fixed it because at the end I also talk about the fact that there is an issue with it and that is from the very latest version of plasma currently uh, people especially with the dark panel it's particularly noticeable have a one pixel outline around the panel where they can see the wallpaper which is bad and totally <laughs> I should have I should have said that coming. However, when I thought, okay, but th that was weird because my patch was literally making taking what was currently being done in dialogues uh, as an example kickoff. This is not kickoff. As an example, this dialogue I was doing what was done there and doing it on the panel as well. So I thought, why do we have this glitch in the panel when it is not there in dialogues? Turns out it's also there on dialogues just people hadn't noticed that much yet. So how do we how do we address that? Okay, so I thought about it a lot and eventually I give up. I give up on the idea that if we currently have, we, we draw things with rounded corners because we do like rounded corners and okay, that, that makes sense. And at the same time, these things are transparent. So behind them, they need to have blur and contrast effects. The issue is that the mask for the blur and contrast effect is not anti-aliased, which means it's going to be pixelated. Whereas as the actual SVG corner is anti-aliased, which means it's going to be smooth. And if you draw something smooth on top of something pixelated, you're going to see some places where there you see the blur and the contrast effect, but there's normally it should be hidden from the you know SVG, but it's not because it's pixelated and it it bleeds outside. Yeah. So there, there's no way to avoid that. I, I'm I'm sad to I'm sad to say there's no way to avoid. So I thought let's try to do our best, our reasonable best to fix it. Reasonable best. So first of all, currently the rounded corners in KD Plasma are so not rounded, like they're just few pixels rounded, and those pixels are few enough that when the mask is not anti-aliased, it's basically a rectangle. That that that's how little rounding we currently have. So if we use a little more rounding on these elements, the issue will still be there, but it will be slightly less noticeable because now the blur won't be a rectangle, it will be a rounded rectangle, which is still going to be pixelated compared to the SVG, but at least it's not a rectangle anymore. It's some, it's a step forward. Okay, number two. Now we have, sorry about that. Now we have for all windows, actually, let me bring up Dolphin. You might notice that all of Dolphin now has an outline. We actually added we, we, I did nothing. Somebody else in KDE added uh, outlines for Windows, which was pretty cool. You can find the author talking about that on uh, Planet KDE. So I thought, okay, we can do the same thing in uh, the, the Breeze theme for KDE Plasma, so in Dialogues. So, you know, here, we can make the same thing here. And that's a, that's actually going to help us hide the, the glitch at the corners because we're actually drawing an outline on top of it. And if you draw an opaque outline on top of a bug, then, then it's not there. Nobody will know about it. So did that work? Obviously not. <laughs> Where's the issue? So uh, in Plasma, in the Plasma theme, you just have two colors. These two colors are the color of the background, which is white, and the color of the text, which is black. If you're using Breeze Dark, these two are inverted. So background is white and uh, text is background is black and text is white. So I, I can just use these two colors. So if I want to do something gray, as an example, I have to draw something white and then something black on top of it. 
and then I can play with different levels of opacity. But I always need to remember then that whenever we switch from breeze light, breeze dark or opposite, these two colors are going to be switched. So now there's a tough choice. How much light and how much dark and which one of the two should be on top of the other one and how transparent, how transparent should each of those be? And the answer is, I tried some values. I don't know. <laughs> Why is everybody looking at me? No, okay, so what I decided to go with is I actually only use white. So my outline is purely white in breeze light and black in breeze dark. Now, this means that in breeze light, it's almost impossible to notice it. Like, I think I've enabled it uh, right now. So in theory, you should notice, yes, you can, you can see it, there is a white outline. It's almost invisible, but there is an outline. And if we switch to breeze dark, which I should probably do because it's where most of the exciting things are happening. But uh, another wallpaper, thank you, this one, okay. If I switch to breeze dark, now it's much easier to notice that here we do have an outline. Again, you have to zoom and uh, YouTube will compress this, so, you know. But we do have an outline and we do have an outline here as well. Let's zoom in. You can see that there is a black outline. So, where's the issue? Well, I cannot go too opaque with this. The outline cannot be 100% opaque as much as I would like it to be because it's really going to be stark and noticeable both in breeze light and breeze dark. I need this outline to be a bit transparent otherwise it's, it looks bad. Honestly, honestly, it just looks bad. Which means of course that it's not actually going to cover the corners back which was what I had hoped for. I was hoping for this outline to save me from the corners back, but if I don't make it completely opaque, then it's not going to cover. It's going to cover it partially because it's still somewhat opaque, but it's still transparent as well. So you still see that underneath the outline, there are some bugs that are going on. So what else? What else should I do? I tried more rounded corners, an outline, and I failed. So what else? So again, go watch the previous video if you haven't, because now I'm going uh, slightly, just slightly more technical. But here's the thing. So I've talked about how to address this bug at the corners. We take the mask and we make the whole mask one pixel smaller on each side so that this pixelated area, instead of being on the corner, is inside, like covered by the SVG. And so it's much, much less noticeable. That was the fix. However, this has the side effect of also making, you know, the mask smaller on top, bottom, left and right because you're making it smaller by one pixel. That was, that was the whole thing. And on things like the panel, it will mean that in the four sides of the panel, you will see the background in the one pixel on the bottom, top, left and right because we are making the mask, which is blur and contrast effect, one pixel smaller. S sad. It's sad. Uh, it's a sad life. So what can we do about it? It seems like we have to choose between having the corners that aren't that don't look bad because you can see through them or having, sorry, I meant we can either have the sides that don't look bad uh, that don't look bad because you can see through them or we can the, we can have the corners that don't look bad because they don't have like the pixelated area we have to choose between the sides and the corners so here's the thing i've actually decided that we don't have to choose let me show you what i did this is a trick which is very cool it's, it's actually horrible it's a hack but i mean if it works it works right <laughs> I don't know what else to do. So I actually rever reverted reverted all of the patches that made the mask smaller. So we, just by this revert, in theory, you should see again the pixels, the white pixels at the uh, corners in breeze dark because those were fixed by making the mask smaller. But look at here. This is the new mask that I'm working on. And um, you might notice it looks weird. <laughs> the corners are smaller. So that's the whole point. I made the mask smaller on the corners, but only on the corners. So the panel is still going to be normal because these four elements, which are the sides, still have a normal size. But when you actually draw the corners, then you have the smaller element, which means that the corners will not have the pixelated area. So it's a win. We did it. We almost 
almost did it. We never do it fully. Like we, we cannot escape the corners, but it will always be us. So what did I do? What's the issue? I think I can show it to you if I manage to get some dialogue uh, here. Okay, so do you see any bug here at the corners? No, look better. Let's zoom in. Actually, I don't see anything wrong with this, but it's because of the wallpaper. So it only you can only see it on certain wallpapers because you know the color of the panel depends on the wallpaper, and so you can really see the bug only on certain wallpapers. Also, let's make the panel floating so that it actually has color nurse and we can look at those i think it was very noticeable with uh, i don't remember here you can see it here so if you if you zoom in to the panel you can see you can see that the corners look funky i mean you do have the outline which looks normal and then the corners there's this few dark pixels which look funky why is that because in the corners i make the mask smaller which makes the pixelated area go um, um underneath the svg however even if this mismatch is less noticeable thanks to the fact that it's underneath the svg it's still there and the svg is transparent so you can still somewhat see this visually broken corners but i mean if you zoom out it's almost impossible to notice almost impossible Th that's the keyword almost it's slightly noticeable noticeable but only on certain wallpapers like i don't know this one is fine you can notice you cannot notice it this one here you do notice it but only on certain wallpapers and only on breeze dark and i, I don't know i can't do any better <laughs> This is as good as it gets. Also, as a side benefit, now the corners of everything are more rounded. Let me actually show that. Uh, yes, this wallpaper is fine. This border is more rounded. This text needs some margin to the left. I know. These corners are more rounded. Everything is more rounded. Even if you, I don't know, change the volume. Look at here. No, it doesn't work. Look at here. Come on. <laughs> okay, look at here. This is more rounded than before. Everything got more rounded. Aren't you happy? Also, we all also have outlines. I mean, everything's nicer looking now, I think. Less bugs. Actually, the bug is only now noticeable if you're using Breeze Dark, if you're using certain wallpapers, and everything's more rounded, and there's an outline. It's a almost win, 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 win. Almost. <laughs> anyway, if you, uh, jokes aside, jokes aside, if you do want to help me out, do this kind of things, uh, and, and this is October's data I haven't updated yet, but I'm, it's still like five euros an hour I'm doing this. It's a side uh, hobby thing and that's fine but if you do want to help me out pay for my expenses food i'm currently living uh, alone in sweden so any donation is fully appreciated and i'm trying my best thanks everybody for following and uh, see you tomorrow with yet another video of me <laughs>